Did you know that the federal government has a program to track your location through pictures of your license plate? It does, and it can be stopped without waiting for the federal government to stop itself. Earlier this year, the Wall Street Journal reported that the federal government, through the Drug Enforcement Agency, that's the DEA, has been tracking the location of millions of vehicles. They've engaged in this warrantless surveillance for nearly eight years, all in secret, without any public notice of the policy. The tracking is done through Automated License Plate Readers, or ALPRs, primarily operated by state and local law enforcement and not the federal government. The Department of Homeland Security has given more than $50 million in federal grants since 2007 to law enforcement agencies around the country to buy ALPRs. Thousands of police departments across the country use these scanners today. In other words, this is a federal program being operated by the states. ALPRs either are fixed to stationary locations like telephone poles or mobile on the front and back of police patrol cars can capture images of license plates at a rate of thousands per minute. An ALPR-equipped squad car parked outside the office of an anti-war organization or a gun club could suck up the plate data of everyone coming and going while the cop inside took a nap. A mobile system on a highway can record and transmit the plate data of every car that passes it, potentially hundreds of thousands of people per day. When the camera snaps a photo of each passing license plate, it also marks the GPS location and time and date of the interaction, storing a unique file for what is called a catch. As law enforcement captures this information locally, we now know they've been passing this location tracking data along to the DEA nationally. And it's our view that it's also likely being passed along to the FBI and other federal agencies through federal, state, fusion centers. But since a majority of federal license plate tracking data comes from local law enforcement, states can effectively block this program by not handing over the information in the first place. Laws should be passed by states banning the use of ALPRs for surveillance without a warrant and prohibiting the sharing of data collected. The end result is quite simple. No data means no federal license plate tracking program.